Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Jimmy again. So new video upcoming GTX 980 and 970. We have already an unofficial benchmark under our whole benchmark provided by videocardz.com. You can go to the official website and then check out that it's one of the best technical website out there. So let's talk about the benchmark. Basically, it's based on the 3D Mark Firestrike GPU score. So let's start from the bottom. Radeon R9290 is my favorite, favorite, favorite graphic card gaming card which is popular in my machine. Basically, I have two gaming machines. One I'm using a GTX 760, and then the second machine I'm using the Radeon R9290. I will talk about why the hell I'm using these two cards and why I'm using these two cards for what. Basically, on, on my game, gaming machine, I'm using the Power Color R9290, which I ported around 420 US dollar. And then basically you can see it's 80% and, and this one is 100% which will be retailed around $500 basically which means to be honest with you when the Radeon R9290 was launched it was priced at $400 US dollar but due to some dumb ass the big miner if you don't know what is big mining just google it due to the big mining machine everybody start putting Radeon card in it, Radeon R9290 because it performs much better in, in computing. Yes, AMD cards overall perform better in computing in solving the problem compared to NVIDIA. Yeah, so everybody start putting the Radeon R9290 or 290X in their machine because of that there was a lot of supply and then there was a less product on, on in the market so the price go up. Basically, even this card somewhere retail around from 400 to 450, but the official price of this card is 400 US dollar. So I, I will just stick with the 400 US dollar at this point. So basically, see Radeon R9290, which come at 400 US dollar, and GTX 980, which is a next generation card, which will come at 500 US dollar. Basically, you can see the price difference 100% with 20% of performance. So the number one question you have to ask. Are you going to give extra $100 for 20% price performance? Definitely yes. Why? Because 20% performance really mean a lot of things. Just for $100 US dollar, you're getting 20% price for performance. Indeed, yes, I'm gonna give $100 extra because 20% per, uh, performance really mean a lot of things in gaming. Not only in gaming, even in, in 3D rendering, in 3D max. So you can basically see and then you will be wondering why the hell there are 3 GTX 980. GTX 980, 980, 980. Basically you can see their, their clock speed. Basically this all clock speed means bullshit. Indeed yes. To be honest with you let me tell you some kind of bullshit out here. Basically you can see this. Uh, basically you can see this 947R9 CF edition. Basically, why dial is ranking at 154% score compared to much higher, for example, this one, GTX 980 1190 MHz. Because it's bullshit, this number really don't matter anything in the real world. This means bullshit, this megahertz means bullshit. To be on your bullshit, even I don't know why the hell they're still putting on it. It's better you put RAM, GTX 980 with 8 GB RAM or R94 GB RAM. Indeed, that means something. But this, this, this all my bullshit. So I'm not gonna talk about this bullshit. Okay. So let's back. Number one, GTX 980. Number two, GTX 980. Number three, GTX 980. So it means Nvidia is going to launch three GTX 980 as a stock market card after that there will be a hell a lot of aftermarket card which will be coming from msi power uh, power color uh, don't make the video on they make amd from asus gigabyte uh, evga a lot of manufacturers are going to jump into it and then they're going to overclock the card they're going to provide the better solution on the card so after that this card is the best gtx 980 is going to perform at least 20 percent or 10 at least 15 to 20 percent better than this R9. So basically, it means mean the GTX 980, the aftermarket car, will perform 35 percent to 40 percent better than the R9. Basically, if you go with the aftermarket car, you have to pay 10 to 20 euros dollar extra. So basically, I would say uh, GTX 980, for example, from Gigabyte will come at 520. So compared to $400. So basically I'm going to give extra 
120 dollar for, for 35 to 40 percent performance but basically yes i'm going to give it so basically and then let's try to see where the titan gts titan which is one of the most expensive car even cannot compete with the gtx 980 this basically car come at 1000 us dollar compared to 500 dollar and then let's see about gtx 780 ti basically yes gtx 780 ti is performing much better than 980 i don't know why this this thing will make nvidia a little bit set back because gtx 980 should perform better than the gtx 780 780 ti I don't know what the hell is uh, Nvidia is trying to think about it. So let's talk about GTX 760 SLI. Basically, uh, GTX 760 SLI you can buy two GTX 760 and put in an SLI mode for the same price for the GTX 980. But why the hell you should buy two GTX 760 and put them in a SLI? You can it's better you buy a single GPU card because SLI don't work best on all games. And secondly. We will be waiting. I'm I'm looking forward for the GTX 960 because at this point of time we only know our GTX 980 and 970. We really don't even have a single rumor heard or even there not a single article out there or even a single whistle out there which is su suggesting that we are going to receive GTX 960. Yes, we will receive GTA 960, but after six or seven months, not so soon. So let's take back to GTX 980 and 970. Basically, where the hell is GTX 970 benchmark? And then let's talk about GTX 970. Yes, G this car is going to price as GTX 970 as 400 US dollars, same price as R9290. So this car is performing 3% better. But if you ask me which card you will choose, give me a gig at this 400 price point. I'll go with the R9290. Why? Because I'm a computer, I'm a geek. I I have to do a lot of computing. Nvidia card sucks as computing, even copying Win RAR file or doing any kind of computing. To be honest with you, you should look out the computing benchmark of Nvidia and compare to AMD suck. For the computing a day to every day use AMD card as a top card. But if this GTX 970 is going to uh, offer me around 10% more performance, then I will go with the GTX 970. But it's only offering me 3% extra performance. Why the hell even I should care? Let's move on to the mobile world. So you can say GTX 980M. GTX 970M, so it means mobile, mobility, which is the, this card are for a laptop card. Let's see. GTX, 7, uh, 87, uh, GTX 870M. 50% GTX 970M 79% what the hell f, f, f it is so it mean if you 79 minus 50% it basically means 29% I'm getting extra performance and how much I'm getting on a desktop 780 81% uh, okay and then where the hell is 9 uh, 9 uh, 980 I'm receiving only 19% extra performance on desktop and then I'm receiving 29% on a laptop. Why the hell is that happening in a video? Why I need same 29% extra performance on my desktop? Why the hell you're giving extra? Basically, it it, it means here I need at least 110 performance compared with the GTX 9 uh, uh, compared to a GTX 780. I, I, at least at least I need a but who the hell care to be honest with you even I couldn't understand why the hell I'm receiving 29% extra performance on laptop compared to because laptop cars are designed in a in a thin confined space they couldn't have extra memory chip blah 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 on net compared to the desktop you can build a desktop graphic card as long as you want as thick as you want nobody cares so let's see about uh, 870 and 970 let's see about 980 uh, 980 compared with the 880 so basically basically it's offering around 36 percent extra performance um, correct me if i'm not, not wrong yes 36 percent if you jump from 880 to 980 you are receiving 36 performance what the hell is that huh let's see what the hell is offering in here same blah blah and let's see gtx 9 they know GTX uh, 770 on this. I don't know why. 
so if I jump from 880 to 980, I'm receiving 36% performance. So it basically means I should jump to the computer laptop gaming compared to the desktop gaming because desktop gaming are only offering me 90% extra performance. Even even you can build a card as thick as you want compared to the laptop graphic card. This is going to blow my mind. So please take this information with a grain of salt. This is unofficial benchmark of GTX 970 and 980. So subscribe my channel, share this video, this video, you think it is interesting and check out my channel and please check out my Jimmy a Geek blog website. Just go to jimmyagig.com, buy a Nara.